Are you a fan of Game of Thrones? Do you miss the Game of Thrones characters and universe? Did you hear about upcoming show The Witcher? And do you want to watch it, but you don't really know what to expect? If you answered yes in all four questions, that video is exactly for you. Game of Thrones was by far the most successful fantasy TV show of all time. Some may say it was not only in fantasy genre. The last season, for most fans, was very controversial and let some of them down. However, what Game of Thrones did for fantasy TV shows will never be forgotten. In my opinion, Netflix would never go for Polish fantasy if not for success of games and the worldwide success of Game of Thrones among only not fans, but also casual people that usually don't like fantasy themselves. Will Witcher be similar and will get this huge recognition around the world? I think yes, but knowing what Sapkowski have written and what can we expect from the story of The Witcher, I honestly think it will become something more and even bigger. At least that is what I hope for, because The Witcher saga has a huge potential. Hello, my name is Danny, and these are 10 things that everyone who watched Game of Thrones can expect while tuning to Netflix The Witcher. After spending almost a decade with Game of Thrones, what we all gonna remember are amazing characters written and played in the show. Some of them we loved, some of them we hated, but who will forget Joffrey Lannister? His uncle Tyrion Lannister played by Peter Dinklage, Daenerys, Jon, Arya, there were many more. In The Witcher we can expect nothing less. Geralt of Rivia is already established as a fan favorite because of the books and the games. Triss got her story in all three Witcher games, even though in the books she was not as main of a character. Yennefer that I talked about in my last episode, Ciri, Yaskir, and there will be many more. Characters are one of the strongest parts of the books and most of them stay in memory for a long time. Each of them has their own problems and motives for what they do. Even villains has their reasons. Most of them are not evil just for sake of being evil. Among my favorite characters in books are Regis, the vampire we meet in Blood and Wine expansion to the third game, Leo Bonhart, one of the most evil characters we meet in the whole saga, and Yaskir, a true friend and companion to Geralt in good and bad moments. I think Game of Thrones is much more dark than The Witcher, however the Northern Kingdoms have their own secrets and intrigues that will surprise many people. One thing I can say is that you should not expect hardcore betrayals and whole families of main characters being slaughtered to just to shock. Witcher is not that dark, but it's much more deeper. There are certain problems that the show will mention that are important and common for many people all around the world. The show will have many layers and will expose its depth in case of relationships, character development and storytelling. Relationships were one of the most important things in the whole Game of Thrones. They triggered wars, they encouraged people to do evil things and many sacrificed over them. In The Witcher it's no different. Whole main plot revolves around relationships and consequences of actions in them. The great pursuit for true love, friendship, having family and being safe. The big triangle will be Yennefer, Ciri and Geralt, but many others, sometimes surprising, will bond during the show. One thing in The Witcher that I really like is a lot of humor that is present all around in the saga. Pacing of the stories told is just amazing. In one moment there is a fight and a tense action, but then you meet dwarves, Yaskir and others that tell stories, sit all around the fire and tell jokes. There are many moments when you laugh through the books and I think show will be the same. The biggest potential are, se are scenes with Yaskir and Geralt. In Game of Thrones it was also present all around the show, there were many scenes, we all laughed and smiled. Game of Thrones was so interesting for many people due to its politics, intrigues and territorial clashes. The main plot revolves around who is gonna become a king of seven kingdoms. In The Witcher, the story of Geralt is not the story of a king, emperor or someone who will save the whole world. It's a story of an individual who tries to get his family back. There will be political arcs in The Witcher, but Geralt always says he tries to be neutral so he doesn't have a side with certain faction or region. With politics come wars. There will be several smaller and bigger ones in the series. In the first season we are gonna see the war between Sintra and Nilfgaard that was teased in the trailer. It is gonna have a huge impact on the world and on main characters as well. You should not expect such personally packed battles like Battle of the Bastards 
but I hope that some of them will be very impressive. When we are in subject of fights, we should mention jewels and fighting of girls. The trailer already hinted what I suspected. The fights will be fast paced and visually impressive. The Witcher has more fantasy vibes than Game of Thrones, so there will be more than just a sword jewels. Geralt uses signs and his Witcher combat moves to make it much more interesting. Although we're gonna remember fights like the one between Jaime and Ned Stark, but I think Witcher will give us more memorable moments. My favorite one being the battle on the bridge between Geralt and his crew and Nilfgaardians. Guardians. Game of Thrones was one of the shows where you can see images from all around the world integrated into an amazing fantasy world. Beautiful views that create a world we can believe in. For many, this is why we have fallen into love with fantasy worlds. Lord of the Rings can be a great example. Most of the movie was shot in New Zealand and the vistas are unforgettable. Game of Thrones did the same thing with Croatia and Dubrovnik, which became big touristic destination for many fans. Witcher went for same thing. While most of the scenes were taken in Hungary, the crew during filming process was in Polish and Hungarian castles and Canary Islands. The first look at Aretuza Castle already shown that the vistas in the show will be beautiful. Even though Game of Thrones was not full of magical creatures and magic, it tried to integrate them into the world. Army of the Undead, that was the main threat for most of the show, was probably the biggest fantasy piece in the whole show. Other were definitely dragons of the Daenerys Targaryen. In The Witcher you can expect much more. The magic as a power is widely used and will have a huge part in the series. Prophecies and destiny will also play a huge part in the development of certain characters and relationships. Magic signs that Witcher use will be present in combat. There will be monsters and creatures, some of them inspired by Slavic folklore and some of them by wild imagination. And yes, there will be dragons. Even in the first season we are going to see one. If you like fantasy core and you thought it was a little bit lacking in Game of Thrones, in The Witcher you are going to find it. What HBO did after initial success of Game of Thrones is to put tons of money into production of next seasons. First one got a budget of around 6 million dollars per episode. The last one got almost 15 million per episode. This is a huge amount of money when we take into consideration that those are just TV shows. Netflix also invested huge money into The Witcher. Rumors say it will be around 10 million dollars per episode, which matches six season of Game of Thrones. Knowing this, we can expect some high quality effects, scenery and impressive monsters. It's a good sign that Netflix invests so much money into the series and it becomes visible that they are trying to become a worth successor of Game of Thrones. In Game of Thrones, there were many arts and storylines. Many people we got attached to were killed at some point in time in the show. There were many moments where we laughed, and there were many moments when we cried. But what we all got is the great and amazing adventure through the world we followed for such a long time. I strongly believe Witcher will be a perfectly fitting piece that will cover the hole that Game of Thrones left. The story and its pacing is unforgettable. The characters are memorable and absolutely lovable. The views will be amazing, the action and fights will be visually impressive. I honestly think such a great show as Game of Thrones could not imagine a better successor than The Witcher. For me, as a fan of games and books for almost 15 years, it's a dream come true. All I can hope is that they don't screw it up. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the comments, likes and subscriptions. If you like the channel, please continue to support it so I can grow. Next time I would like to bring you the story of Yaskir, a true friend of Geralt and the best companion on the road that one can ask for. If you are interested in more Witcher content, please check my Geralt and Yennefer backstory videos where I try to bring them closer without spoiling everything that will happen. Farewell and good luck on the path.